on your way to one of those great gaudy dances they throw for the servicemen. Uh, yeah. I'm, uh... My name's Jay Gatz. You're going the wrong way. It's back there. I would give you a ride, but I'm late for a dinner engagement. Will you tell me your name? Why? Well, I was, uh... I was hoping you'd come with me to one of those big gaudy dances. <laughs> Will you? Bye. Daisy Faye. Hello, Daisy. Now, what did you say your name was again? Was it Blackston? Gatsby? Yeah. Gatsby will do. All right, Mr. Gatsby. Hold on to your hat. There was music from my neighbor's house through the summer. Men and girls came and went like moths, among the whisperings and the champagne. I believe the first time I went to Gatsby's house, I was one of the few guests who had actually been invited. People were not invited. They went there. They got into automobiles which bore them out to Long Island, and somehow they ended up at Gatsby's door. Once there, they were introduced by somebody who knew Gatsby, and after that they conducted themselves according to the rules of behavior associated with an amusement park. <laughs> In the afternoons, Gatsby's guests danced and frolicked on his beach, or else they floated by in one of his boats while waiting for the sun to drop and the party to begin. Every Friday, five crates of oranges and lemons arrived from New York. There was a machine in the kitchen which could extract the juice of 200 oranges in half an hour if a button was pressed 200 times by a butler's thumb. Mr. Gatsby is. Oh, am I at Gatsby's again? Let's bring it. Think. A piano. I thought you might be here. How'd the golf tournament go? Westchester. Oh, that. I dropped out. A caddy accused me of improving my lie. <laughs> you imagine? A caddy. Come to these things often? I just love it. When I was here last, I told my chair on, on, on my dress. <laughs> he asked for her name and address. Inside a week, I got a package from Courier with a brand new gown. He doesn't want trouble from anybody. No. Who doesn't? Gatsby. <laughs> and he was a German spy <laughs> in the war. Hey. Hey, where are you going? They're boring me. What do you think? About what? About that. Books? Absolutely real. Here, let me show you. They have pages and everything. See? 
A bona fide piece of printed matter. It fooled me. I've been drunk a week, and I thought a library might sober me up. Did it help? I can't tell you. I've been here only an hour. What's wrong? Hmm, nothing. I... You look like a billboard I saw. You must mean Dr. Eckelberg. Yes, people say that. It's the glasses. Let's go. <laughs> Division? 9th Machine Gun Battalion. 7th Infantry until June of 18. No, I'd seen you before. Say, I just bought a hydroplane. You want to go out some morning, old sport? Sure. Having a gay time now? Much better. This is an unusual party for me. This man Gatsby sent over a chauffeur with an invitation, but I haven't seen him. I'm Gatsby. You are. I'm sorry, I thought you knew. I'm afraid I'm not a very good host. Chicago on the line, sir. You'll have to excuse me for a moment. If you want anything, you just ask for it, old sport. Old sport. <laughs> Who is this guy? Just Gatsby. Oh, well, where's he from? I hear he's an Oxford man, although I don't believe it. No, really? I just don't think he went there. Anyhow, he gives large parties, and I like large parties. They're so intimate. At small parties, there's never any privacy. I found myself growing more interested in Jordan Baker, and ever more curious about Gatsby. Young men didn't, in my experience, drift coolly out of nowhere and buy a palace on Long Island Sound just to give parties that lasted all night. The morning sun revealed Gatsby in a posture I could only assume Jordan would describe as intimate. And while I don't think I was yet in love with Jordan Baker, I will confess to feeling mildly jealous and annoyed at Gatsby. Not long afterwards, Gatsby's gorgeous car pulled up at my door. It was the first time he'd called on me. He wanted us to ride up to the city for a fancy lunch that would include, among other things, the story of his life. <laughs> 